Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Rodrigo and if you already bought or thinking to buy a very budget microphone, which is this one here that I have on my hand is the, uh, the Maono DGM20, which is being selling very well on Amazon at this moment and also is under $40. And by the way, it's a pretty nice uh, sound for the price that you're getting. I do have also a review of this microphone in my latest video right up here if you want to click to check it out. But if you bought this microphone and you may be not satisfying exactly for the sound that they come out with the microphone, but you wanted to enhance this microphone audio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enhance the audio of this microphone to sound like a, a microphone that's much more expensive than this microphone. And it will help you to use it for your voiceover, uh, streaming or content creation. So just stick around and then we're going to use this microphone in his own sonar from Steel Series, which is a uh, free application that you can install on your PC. All right, so right now we're here on the sonar from Steel Series. This is a free software on the screen. Uh, you can download for free on the website that I'm going to link on the description below. So feel free to click over there, download and come over here and we're going to follow up with this tutorial. Now, this microphone right here, the sound that you're hearing right now is raw sound without any cancellation noise because this microphone does have a, an option for cancellation mode on it. So it's not cancellation mode right now. It's basically just the raw sound on this microphone. The volume of this microphone that I'm using as well right now for this EQ is just the first dot of this microphone right here under the microphone. And now we're gonna be connected to Sonar Steel Series. So when you open the application and the software, you're gonna bring to this uh, area right here, which is Sonar. The other ones is just the home of the application. Because this application not only have a Sonar, but does have also a software right here that actually can clip your gameplay as well. You have a 3D M trainer. There's so much of the stuff. And this is also all accessories from Steel Series up here over here as well but we're going to sonar sonar over here what are you going to do you're going to go to master you're going to go click right here in the cog wheel which is the settings and you're going to go to mic input when you go to mic input you're going to go and choose dgm20 if you don't see the mic over there just a disconnected usb from your mic uh, from your pc connect back again then it should show up over here automatically when you connect it and you choose it you want to leave the sound over here inside steel series microphone 100 percent now on windows i usually leave 80 percent so i'm going to go and show where to get there you're going to right click on the audio volume right here go to sound settings if you're on a windows 11 this window is going to open like this you're going to scroll down all the way to see more sound settings and then it's this window is going to appear right here and you're going to recording look for steel series sonar's microphone why you have to look for the steel series steel series sonar microphone your microphone now is running through sonar and sonar is going to do whatever it needs to do there for this microphone enhance the audio to go to any application that you wanted to use it which is could be a zoom for meanings can be for this core could be for your uh for game you play if you're playing a uh, call of duty for example you can use that uh with the chat there and all the application that you want to use so over here you're gonna uh click twice you're gonna go to levels and you see right here is 70 percent i'm sorry i say 80 percent i forgot is 70 percent i don't put too much over here because i don't want this microphone to blow up too much pick it up a lot of noise i think this is fine so depending on your room you may want to put a little bit more or less but be careful with the more volume that you put over here the more background sound is going to get so this this volume right here you can start from here and adjust as you want after you put those volumes for the microphone you're going to go right here on the mic tab all the way up here and this is where we're going to eq this microphone as you can hear right now it doesn't have a no compressor no background removal this sound is just like it sounds the microphone they have a the clear cast ai noise cancellation which is this is a fantastic noise removal application here you can also set up right here noise reduction or noise gate and compressor as you wanted to it i find myself not needed to use that much at all it resolves mostly if you not almost 100% of your background noise removal and it's very effective. I really like it. It doesn't really feel like it's a fake or very compressed sound. So when you turn this on, as you can hear myself, I'm not going to speak anything. You're probably going to see or hear a little bit of um, hissing noise or something. I'm going to turn this on. 
So now probably won't be able to hear much any background noise or I mean, I don't have that much, but it definitely you probably notice a little bit more quiet. Now I'm using 50% because my room is not that noisy. So depending how you're going to use it, you can put all the way to 100% if you want to. Right now it's 100% uh, and you can hear probably that it's not really heavy on the background removal on your voice. But I always suggest to use this microphone as well with a boom arm close to your mount because it helps a lot to pick it up your voice and a better quality than if you just put in a table and away from the microphone that will require you for you to put more volume on the microphone and it will pick it up more background noise as well but I'm here and I'm using 50% and I think it's pretty good for my environment. Right here on the equalizer, we're gonna go turn on the equalizer. This is where you're going to be able to change the microphone sound completely from here. So I'm gonna just put this um, headphone so just to make sure that I can hear myself, you're going to see here that you have a different types of uh, places on your voice. Over here, we, I'm going to start with the low end, which I want to cut the low frequencies. So I'm going to go here and click it and I'm going to click it on the picking EQ and I'm go to high pass. Um, I'm just going to click the high pass a little bit this way. If you want to add a nod here, hover your mouse on the line and click it plus, put it in another nod here so you can add to your cue. Over here, I like it to push this a little bit up uh, as well, this one here. You already can see that my voice is a little bit more bass and deep. Each voice is a little bit different. So I just showing you what you can do with just two clicks to enhance this microphone. So over here, for example, on the uh, middle range, I like to put another dot here and uh, lower a little bit, not much. So that way it cuts a little bit of the box. So right now you can see that is already improving a lot this sound on this microphone and remember this microphone is less than forty dollars us forty dollars on amazon definitely now you can hear with just few clicks without even know anything on this program you already can equalize this microphone so over here and assemblies depending how your assemblies i have a lot of assemblies so if you put a lot of assemblies you're gonna hear a lot of s s s, s and it's gonna be kind of annoying I usually leave it down for myself and the air I put a little bit, but not much. And I think it just with those settings already sounds way better. And uh, you can use this for your stream. You can use it for your videos on YouTube. You can use it for your meetings. So the audio, the microphone that you hear right now is the setup audio that I already make for this microphone. If you'd like to have a this settings EQ for this microphone, I'm going to leave a link on the description below so you can click and I will take you import you to your Sona Steel Series for this microphone. And uh, if if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also click on the bell for more notifications for more videos like this on our channel. I really appreciate for you sticking around all the way to the end, and I'll see you on the next video.